And Tony Schiavone, you were there for a lot of those great Mongo moments. You got to spend some time with Mongo, you know, when he was at maybe the, the peak of his wrestling career. We'll call it 96, 97. Uh, what are some funny Mongo stories you can share with us today? That I can share with you? Or maybe you could. Okay, I can't share any of them with you. No, I'm... I, I I first met Mongo when, when Eric, you brought him in as the announcer on, on Nitro, and he had his little dog with him. Pepe. Pepe. And I'm thinking, what the hell is this badass doing with a wee little dog in his hand, right? But he had such a great, wonderful personality that even though he was not polished as a wrestler, nor was he polished as an announcer, he made it work, I thought. I really thought he made it work. And he... Go ahead, Eric. No, I was going to say, that was the magic. He had such a big personality that he right. didn't have to be polished. He didn't have right. to be finessed. Right. He was so entertaining, and his personality was so big, and he was so freaking entertaining Right. that even if he chopped some stuff up, you enjoyed being a player. Yeah, right. And I got to be very good friends with Kevin Butler, who was a kicker on the on the Bears team. And uh, Kevin... Uh, uh, there, yes, there is a Jim Barnett story in there, but we won't talk about that. No. <laughs> So, <laughs> but he and I talked a lot about Mongo and about being friends with Mongo, and he and he told me he said of all the guys on the Bears, he was the badass. He really, really was, and there were a lot of badasses on that team. Maybe the greatest football team of all time in the NFL, eighty-five Bears, no question. Uh, but then, when someone like Mongo, who leaves the NFL, becomes a part of us, and he, we all know this. You become a part of us, you're a part of us for life, right? I mean, here we are all together again. We've gone our different ways. and Yes, it is, Jim. Right, okay. <laughs> Here's another one. Just when I thought I was out, they brought me back in. Okay, there's another one for you. But once he became a part of us, it was like, man, you didn't think of him as, a, as an NFL player anymore. You thought of him as one of us and a, and a wrestler who was raw in many ways, but like you said, Jeff, God, he could do a lot of things. I thought he was a great announcer. I really, I thought he was a great color guy because he was just himself. And the best announcers to me are just themselves. So that's what I remember more about him.